Is Allah a all-powerful being? My answer is going to be no. Simply why? Because if Allah is all-powerful, then Islam is wrong. Let me just write it. If Allah is all-powerful, Islam is wrong. Islam is from the devil. Why? Simply because if Allah says in the Quran, chapter 6, verse 34, says there is nobody that can change his word, Nobody can alter the, the none can alter the words of Allah, the degrees of Allah. Chapter six, verse thirty-four. Chapter six, verse fifteen. One hundred fifteen says, none can change his word. Chapter eighteen, verse twenty-seven says, nobody can change the word of Allah. And then random, careless human beings are coming. According to Islam, Islam is some Muslim preachers, some Muslim imams are saying that some Christians, they went and Christians, they went and they changed the Bible. So the Bible which was supposed to be preserved because according to the Quran, sorry, according to the Quran, we have David was given the Psalms. The Psalms is part of the Old Testament. Chapter 4, verse 167, that's the reference for it. Moses, we gave Moses the book, chapter 2, verse 87, Chapter 57, verse 27, Jesus Christ was giving the entire gospel to Jesus Christ. And then at the end of the day, we find out that the, the Bible which we have here was actually given to the Christians by God himself because we have the David or the Psalms given to it by Allah and so on and so forth. And then the Bible which we have today, which we even had from the beginning, is according to Muslims, is what uh, uh, Allah gave us and then finally what do we find we find out that random imams are saying that the Christians they change the Bible the Christians they change the Bible but if Christians change the Bible Allah is no more powerful because you have a simple policeman at the let's say at the airport or the boundaries of a country and then that policeman the president already gave orders that no strangers, no immigrants should enter the country. And then suddenly, a simple policeman at the boundary is telling people, enter, 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 enter very fast, enter, enter. And then it's become public. And then that all-powerful president is not able to sack that president, sack that uh, 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 policeman. Then there is a problem. It means that person is not all-powerful. He's not able to sack that person. He's not able to deal with the people that enter. And this is the problem with God of Islam. The God of Islam is giving Muslims the claim. Multiple passages, chapter 6, verse 34, chapter 6, verse 115, chapter 18, verse 27, that nobody can change the word of Allah. But today, 2024, some random Christians are able to change the word of Allah according to Muslim preachers. That's a very big mistake that they are doing. So there is a problem. Either you believe that your God is all-powerful or he is not all-powerful. If he is not all-powerful, Islam is false. If that God is not all-powerful, Islam is false. Why? Because why being all-powerful, he was able to preserve the Bible. The Bible was never, protect, was never uh, tempered with. Nobody was able to change it. If nobody was able to change it, Jesus Christ, according to the Quran, was never crucified. He's never crucified. He never died on the cross. Chapter 4, verse 157. Jesus was not crucified. Meanwhile, the gospel which was always preserved, the gospel which was never tempered with because Allah is all-powerful, nobody can change his word, the gospel was given to Jesus Christ, was that crucified, Jesus was crucified. And finally, finally, some random Christians did not change, were not able to change because Allah is all-powerful. The Gospels contradict the Quran because we have multiple references. Matthew chapter 27, Luke chapter 15, uh, Luke chapter 23, Mark chapter 15, and John chapter 19 to this one. And then at the end of the day, all these references are contradicting the Quran. Allah is a false God. In the other sense now, what if it was tempered with? If it was tempered with, and then the Christians like they came and manipulated the Bible and they manipulated the entire Bible and was tempered with and, 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 and tempered really, then there is a problem again with Islam. Why? Because the Quran already says in all these passages that I gave you guys, chapter 6, verse 34, chapter 6, verse 1, chapter 18, verse 30, 27, that nobody can change Allah's word. And then the Bible was tempered with, the word of Allah was tempered and change it means Allah is no more all-powerful and if he's no more all-powerful he is no more God 
because somebody tempered with what he said he could not change it, and then making Islam to be false. My question to you is, will you, be, will you decide to leave Islam today? Will you decide to continue living in error, in sin, willfully, with all the knowledge of the fact that all these things somebody tempered with all from along ever since the first verse of the of this book there is an issue who is in charge of writing this book in the name of this person is he the one writing or is somebody praise be to is he the one because you guys believe that he is the one writing but at the end of the day it is somebody else which is writing this thing and saying praise be to somebody else guys there, some, there are mistakes right from line one the language used is not the language of somebody writing about himself. There's a language about somebody else writing about God. In the name of this, praise be to this. And it means somebody else is writing about this particular God here. But here, according to all the preface that I read here, it's him himself, the God of Islam, writing about himself and sending you, as he said here, we sent the book, we sent these people, these people, we gave David the Psalms, we sent, the, we gave Moses the book, Jesus was giving the gospel. The only way for you to have eternal life is by doing this. Christ, Christians should judge by what is in the gospel and that's what I'm doing. Judging the Quran by what is in the gospel, chapter 5, verse 47. Let the people of the book judge by what Allah had revealed to therein. If they fail to do so, they are the worst, they are more than rebels. Surrender your life to Christ and repent of your sins. Stay blessed.